Larry, I know you started this work in the late 90s. How did you get flagged to the issue? The issue first arose in the early 90s when uh, suddenly fish, fishers from New England were coming down to New Jersey and taking crabs for bait. And uh, that quickly went from about 100,000 crabs to 2.5 million each year. Wow. And then it's basically been a battle ever since then to stop people from killing crabs. Is that overfishing the biggest threat to the existence of this red knot bird? Uh, now the fishing is uh, well regulated in terms of uh, bait harvest, the harvest by fishers, but it's the combined threats. Like there's, they're still killing crabs for bait about 700,000 a year, uh, but they're also killing crabs for their blood. And, you know, they, it's a process where they could not kill crabs if they took less blood and took better care. Because see, the, the best use of crabs is to let them live and, and blossom within the ecosystem that, you know, Delaware Bay. Because what we found over the years uh, is that the birds depend on these eggs. But what we also found is fish, almost all the species of fish in the bay are eating eggs. So that when the horseshoe crabs went down, all the fish went down too. And see, that's what the problem is with horseshoe crabs is that they're not being recognized for that value right. that you can't put a, a dollar figure to because it expresses itself at the higher levels of the food chain, like birds and fish. Do you see these birds coming back, not just from the brink, but really being here, you know, surviving for the long haul? See, I feel optimistic about it because I think we can make the transition and uh, we can restore these ecosystems. I think Delaware Bay is really a perfect example because you have the bones of restoration. You know, all the land is still intact but you just need to do a better job at management. So it's the same story and education and every, it's like a generational effort that just, you know, everybody's got to do their part. Larry Niles, great to talk to you today. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Brianna.